That picture you took helped me to realize this fragment here is going to help us see the depths in a new way. <laughs> I'll look through my collection for more fragment fragments, and I'll let you know if I have a breakthrough. Until then, focus on the investigation that Doc asked you to do. Hey guys, and maybe gals. I'm Pal. Last time, we came from the underground. The I don't even what's it called? The depths. We came from the depths, and I have a pretty good idea of what direction I want to go. The past 20 episodes, that has, that has been the big question. I've wanted to go a direction that not many other people have gone. And that one seems to be a good one. But first, I've, I've been recommend, it's been recommended to me that I talk to Josha and Robbie, advance their quests a little bit, get some more abilities, and then leave. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh boy. Ah, what an excellent night. The Pura Pad will prove to be an absolutely essential asset. I misread that. For finding the princess, I'm sure of it. So, you want to use the pad, you want the pad to be upgraded to be of, of even more use, starting with that shrine sensor. But, I can't do it at Lookout Landing, not with the meager equipment we have on hand here. Even with my genius for these things, I need to upgrade it at the Pura Pad Research Lab in Hateno. I think I asked about this last episode. <laughs> yes. I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess before we depart, let's touch base with, um... Let's touch base with... What's her face? You. Lissa! Pura. Hey, Linky. Popping by to make an appearance? I don't see any visible injuries, so you must be holding up okay out there. Have you made any progress on investigating the four regions like I asked? There's another village that might be yield more answers, so I'm directing an investigation to what's going on there. Uh, what other village? <laughs> Kakariko Village, home of the Sheikah tribe, is off, off to the southeast in the Nakluta region. Zonai ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of the village. <laughs> There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai Surveys team's elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about the Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. <clears throat> he helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they're needed and has an extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more about uh, more than I can about various regions and peoples. Hmm. Anyway, I can get help from the research divisions for this but I'm entrusting the investigation of the four regions with the phenomena to you. Check it. Keep me posted. Check it. Uh, I... Hmm. I think we're... I don't need to... I don't think I need to talk to him. I have a fairly good idea of what I want to do. Comments have wanted me to talk to Robbie and expand his quest. And we, we've we done that. And it seems like to pursue... To, yeah, to pursue that further, we're going to have to go to Hateno Village. But, I have thought of a pretty interesting path to take. I just would like to hit up that shrine first. Where is that? Yeah, per oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, this is what I, uh, let's go to that shrine first and then I'll talk about what I wanna do. I guess. Is B.A. still in no man's land? I... Uh, I think he is. That's... That kind of stinks. We... We spent all that work to get a horse, and now we can't get a horse because the starting area do, is refusing to give me a stable. On the other hand... Nope. 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 <laughs> Every single time I decide to get a horse, it takes... Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ha! I have an app for this. Do you all remember a certain, um, <laughs> technique, let's just say, back in Breath of the Wild? I called it... Shock and Jock! <laughs> oh, shock and Jock, baby! Never fails! That's a pretty horse. Wait, wait, that's kind of a pretty horse. Hold up. Is that all black? 
Uh, no, 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 no. I would die if I did this. Let's not be dumb. Let's take this horse instead. Shock and shock, baby! What is this? A four-star horse? What? That's kind of nice, actually. I'm I'm tempted to get this and um name name it Black Beauty, which is an awful movie in my opinion. I kind of hate it, but it's a movie that I can reference. And honestly, if you've paid any attention to me in the past couple years, references are all that I have. Oh, uh, oh, that's perfect. Uh, please don't leave me. Oh, oh, he, he just despawned. Good morning, traveler. Foul weather can't foul my mood when I'm on my way to becoming a Zatori. Wah, what is it that I sense? Do you have gobs of bubble gems in your possession? If you have them, I'll trade them. I was told to uh, basically just spend these willy-nilly. Uh, it seems like, and this is kind of proof positive right here, uh, he goes through a rotation of items to obtain. It's not a an RNG thing, which honestly I appreciate. And I probably should have expected that to be the case. Because Nintendo, you know, is usually pretty fair in those regards. But, now I know. There's nothing to save these gems for. Let's spend them. Hazood, <laughs> thank you. I'll dally no more. Here I go. Mmm. It tastes like internal bleeding. Mmm. I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me, I think. Yeah, more! Give me more bubble gems! I'm sorry. Now that I am myself once more, please. Here is the fu the I almost- you know, Furniture, pal? Why, why were you about to say furniture? Here is the furniture, I promised you. As tough as plate armor, this item increases an arrow's attack power when attached to it. An arrow specifically. Okay. I feel like that would be... What? What is that? That looks kind of dope, though, doesn't it? Sheesh. What is it? The mystic rope? What is that? Ah, uh, of course, let me tell you all about the mystic robe. Its headpiece, trousers, and robe are all very rare treasures indeed. According, according to ancient texts, the wearer is protected from any and all injuries. But it's also said these strange clothes, clothes prevent the wearer from becoming rich. A lucky trade-off, no. I tried to wear them myself, but the sizes didn't seem to match up. <laughs> oh, ha, they seem like the perfect size for you. Exciting, yes. What about that trade? I ask for only three bubble gems. I don't have any. Please come again when you have more use to me. I, oh, that's cute. There's a little like uh, a little musical trill when when you're finished talking to to him. That's neat. Let's go into this shrine for. Whoa. Let's grab these first for a reason that you will see in a moment. Bing boom bop. All right, come on. Yeah, I want to go into the shrine. I'm I'm kind of keeping what I want to do sep or uh, secret for now. I, I, it'll make sense in a second. I just don't want to... Let's not put our cart before our horse. We have both, and I've... Oh, I, I gotta go to the top of that one moment. One moment. Um... Oh, yep. Sure enough. <sighs> Yeah, ha, ha, you found me. Bye bye. Now let's go inside this thing. Yoink. Yeah. Shrine number something. I don't remember what they were when I said that. Shape rotation. Rotation. Joyce Jioshin. Jioshin. I think it's Jioshin. Shrine. Oh, look! The Twitter logo! Huh. 
What? Ah! This is fairly obvious. Mm, ultra hand? Is this even like considered a puzzle? I feel like this is weird. Are we supposed to bring this through everything? That kind of seems like what they want us to do. Ow. Um. This is weird. Yeah. All right. I, I'm guessing maybe this is this is just introducing a mechanic to us. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's of no use. We're not intended to bring this through. It's just a way to show us, hey, this is what you're going to be doing. I know, I, I'm inside the mind of the developers. I understand game design. I'm actually somewhat of a game designer myself. Uh, in the interim, oh gracious, years since I've Let's Played, I, uh, I've taken on an interesting hobby. Uh, I started playing D&D, as I've said before, but I've taken it to a... I've taken it to a new extent that... Actually, that's a red herring, I think. No, 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 no. Uh, rotations are hard. I'm trying to rotate this so it's like a... There it is. Uh, I've decided, I, I had some problems after I did a three-year campaign, uh, and I had some problems with the game. And so what I decided to do uh, was rework Dungeons & Dragons in its 100% entirety. Every single thing I decided to change, or I'm not changing things for the sake of it. One moment. Can I corner jump that? I mean, I don't think that's what they want, but I kind of want to do it. Uh, so I, I took 5 five E. Oh, I can get that. I took 5 E and reworked it into my rendition, which is... <laughs> no! That's not how that's supposed to go down. Uh, 5.3, or 5.3rd edition. And uh, it's it was intended to kind of like... It's a balance update for the game. Yes. It's a balance up for the date for the game. It takes it reworks some of the the strange design choices of of the game. Uh, some of the complexity disparity between classes, monk, fighter, uh, rogue, especially, uh, giving them a, a few more options, and then touching down some of the e egregious classes like wizard. Um, Less sorcerer, but more like the sorcerer. Oh, that's what I need to do. Can I? This is dumb, but I, I kind of, I don't want to move this thing back. And I kind of, I missed my opportunity uh, to do this. In my mind, this was the way forward, and this was the side content, which is why I did it in this order. But I think I can salvage this. Oh, man, 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 I can, I can do this. I'm going to waste these, but I can do it. Watch, oh, watch and learn, watch and learn. It's gonna tumble down. It's gonna tumble down. Just you wait. I'll let it go as high as it can. It's going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's even drifting. It's perfect. It's gonna tumble down. Yes, go. It's closer. Um. Let's try another one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna tumble down, it's going to work. Oh, it's oh, it's perfect, it's perfect. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, actually, I'm gonna let it go. I get... No! It's so close, fine. Fine, I did it your way, game. What's inside, what's my reward? Oh, not bad, not, no, I, I'm content with that. There you have it. Our fourth orb. 
Surprise! I bet you didn't think we'd be back here when we left a shrine. I have an important decision to make. One that I'm waffling over way more than I expected to. Health or stamina? I've thought about it a long time. And I know what I want to do. I am going for health. Yes. I know this comes as a shock, especially to more experienced players, especially to if I were to tell myself back in the Breath of the Wild LP that this is what I was going for. But the explanation for that will come in a moment. It will come when I reveal where we're going. Let's warp back to the depths. I know I said that I, I was kind of interested in going back here last episode, and so this isn't that much of a shock, but I have an idea. The comments have, have told me that there really isn't much, if any, story progress that happens in the depths. That's huh? fine. I, I'm actually okay with that. If anything, I almost prefer it because it means that this is not going to be the, the place that most people go. This is not the path that most people tread from the beginning of, of the game. It also means that when I come out and start doing the story, I'm going to be overprepared. But I also understand the importance of Let's Play pacing and having, you know, 40 episodes of exploring nothing but the depths isn't going to be too great for viewership. So, this is my plan, because people have recommended a couple things to me. Rito Village, I'm not going there. I'm not going to Rico, uh, Re uh, or sorry, Rico. Rito Village. Not yet, anyway. The game's really pushing me towards this. Steven and Mal went there. Not really, not really gonna be my cup of tea. That said, I'm really excited to find the T-Posing Lizalfos and see if it's still there. I could... Well... I also thought about going down the, the sub southeastern coast to Lurland Village and Ever uh, Eventide Isle, since there's probably no story progress there whatsoever. And that's tempting. But also, the comments have recommended to me that I, I upgrade the Pura Pad, and while they probably simply meant that I should uh, get the camera functionality, uh, which is that, I think that... I think that taking this to its conclusion and actually upgrading it further is a, a good idea as well. So, I would like to go east, and then I'm going to act on some other comments and people I've talked to in, you know, in real life that have all, they've all mentioned that Elden is different and it's not, not even close to being the same area that it was before. And that excites me. Because I I really wasn't a big fan of Elden uh, in the in the Let's Play or in the Breath of the Wild LP. Also, oh that's cool, that's really cool. When I I go to the map and select the the level, it um and back out the mini map reflects that. That's that's pretty cool. So what was I saying? I'd like to cook first. Cool. We're almost doing the trek that we did in uh, in Breath of the Wild, but uh, underground. Die. Hi. Does that kill him? No, but that works, I guess. These things are really weak. They're like really weak. I'm surprised that shield bashing them doesn't kill them outright. Like, these things are crazy weak. I mean, I'm not complaining, mind you. Die. Wrong place, wrong time for that. That has 20 power? That's crazy. That's insane. Okay. All right. That's neat. Uh, let's, um... Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, hearts. Why did I? Why did I go for hearts here? I mean, first and foremost, have you watched the past couple of episodes? Um, I, I'm dying a lot. I'm dying a lot. Uh, there are a lot more enemies. Unlike Breath of the Wild, where honestly, 
Hi. Unlike Breath of the Wild, where after uh, leaving the Great Plateau, I had already fought 95% of every, like, all the enemies in the game. Like, re disregarding that, I... I'm, I'm ha having to learn a bunch of new matchups against a bunch of different enemies while juggling a dozen different mechanics. And health, I think, is going to help me a lot. I also died quite a bit in the Breath of the Wild LP. <laughs> I mean, let's let's remember that for a moment. Big Poe over there. And I, I think that health is probably the correct decision. But there's another one. Honestly, stamina isn't that important in this game. At least, it's not as important. Be be in before you, you know, you comment how insane I just sounded. It's not as important because... Wrong button entirely. Wrong button again. Ascend is in this game. And before, in, in Breath of the Wild, uh, the only climbing ability you had, had a massive cooldown. That isn't the case with this. Ooh. Hello. And so having Ascend is, is very helpful, and we also have fans that can help us climb. Um, stamina restoring... Uh, stamina restoring fruit seems to be more common. I cannot I mean, I can there, but that's completely useless. Fine, I'll climb this. I, I, I think it makes sense. I, I, I don't think I'm crazy, at least. And uh, who knows, I might go for stamina next, just because having one wheel is a little bit hard, a little bit rough for certain things. Um, and overall, having more stamina is going to speed up the overall pace of the let's play. But cutting does that more, and honestly, dying slows the LP down by more. So I think going for a little bit more combat-oriented build so that I don't feel the necessity for stealth everywhere I go is the right call. Is that a... Oh. Snap. A stone talus and a Hinox? Uh, let's... I'm actually running out of arrows. And bows. I'm running out of arrows and bows. I have one bow left. To be fair, it's not for lack of them giving me bows, considering I completely ignored a Boko bow in the other episode, despite it being better than every bow I have. But the point stands. I, I'm low and I'm running I'm low and run. I'm low and run on resources, and I can't kill that. At least I don't think. Like, I'm not even sure if it's worth a try because as soon as I touch it, I can't touch that actually. I have to kill that with arrows or or a lance. Um or have gloom resist, I guess. I could have that. I don't think I'm interested in that. Which is crazy that I'm having to run away from a stone talus, but I just don't have the resources. And worth noting, I kind of need to upgrade my weapons. Like, look how many baseline weapons I have here. I should probably take a moment to fuse those. How far are you going to walk, sir? Are you gonna go... Are you done? Are you gonna follow me to the end of time? What, what is going on? Turn around. Leave me alone. Can I stealth? I... Stone Talos have never followed me this far. This is like twice as far as any Stone Talos... Oh, that's not a, uh, Hinox. That's a you, a you man. I also, I really wanted to uh, forge my weapons. Uh, I guess I have this. I okay. You, I don't really care about. Like you're not that tough, but you are still following me, brother. Okay, we're gonna make use. I'm gonna get the high ground here. Uh. Yeah. And I'm gonna make use of an ability that I have. Just to... Oh my word, you're throwing that from... Okay, okay, you're done. Maybe? Why are you following me this far? Like, they're not even following me this far. And the boss music's still playing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. There we go. Maybe? I'm sorry. What just happened? What just happened? Are you trying to... I... You don't need to avenge anyone, sir. I didn't... Ow. I didn't kill your friends. You did. How? Also, you're... 
weak as crap. Sheesh. What? <laughs> Did one of them just decided that he was done with life? I was going to use my puff thing or my... Because you guys recommended that to me. That I use my... My... Uh, Confusey... Uh, shroom. My muddle bud. Alright. Okay. Okay. I I'll be over there in a second, bud. I kind of want to do some fusing. 